Say hi, guys. Look, look here and say hi. Say bye. Because you're about to leave my room. Hi. Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> say bye, guys. Bye, guys. Oh, you're yeah, good. Cool. Yeah. Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. Say bye, guys. Bye, guys. Oh, yeah. I love you to your room. Mommy wants to film. Let me remove my gum because I know some people don't like it. <laughs> Oh God, this feels weird. This feels absolutely weird, but good. Very, very familiar. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Nello here as always. Whew, okay, okay, where do we start? Um, so you guys, <laughs> I don't know where to start. I should have actually written down all that I wanted to say in this video. But I didn't, so I'm just going to talk as I remember things, okay? Um, let's start from addressing the fact that clearly a lot of you noticed that I have been away from YouTube for a while now. See, the truth is, it's not even been that long, to be honest. It's not been that long. It's just two weeks, just a little bit over two weeks. But obviously, for someone that uploads video three times or more every week, Clearly, it's been a long time, okay? But to be honest, two weeks is not that long. But I get why some of you have been messaging me. For those that have my numbers, um, I've been getting messages. I might not have replied all of you, but yes, I'm fine. And um, some people had to check on me through someone else. And just, yeah, I've just been getting some random comments here and there. Nello, you've not uploaded in a while. What's going on? And this is me trying to explain all that for you guys, okay? So let us just rewind <laughs> to a um, few weeks ago, about a little bit over two weeks ago, when I put out my last video. So basically, uh, did I film that video? It's the Get Ready With Me, the last video that I filmed. Did I film it? I didn't want to film. Let me put it that way. I did not want to film a video whatsoever. Um, like I said in that video, I wasn't going out. I was just creating content because I am a content creator. So I didn't enjoy filming that video. In fact, prior to me filming that video, I was in such a bad mood, like I was even crying. I was a mess, okay? But then I thought to myself, you know what? You need to put out content, okay? Like it's Thursday or so, something like that. And you know, you are scheduled to put out a video today. So you have to film something and put out a video. Um, so I went on. Oh my God, sorry about that. So I went on and put out a video. <laughs> um, I filmed like a, an update or so. I remember telling you guys I was just tired of a lot of things. I was feeling some sort of way. And you know, a lot of you told me that that's quite normal. Like, um, yeah, that a lot of people are feeling that this period, which I guess it's what happened to me, okay? So basically, at some point, I just started feeling tired of everything. By everything, I mean, tired of every single thing, tired of, I don't want to say I'm tired of my life, because clearly it's not, I want to die or anything, like, I love my life, I love being alive, but when I mean tired of my life, I mean tired of the routine that my life had become, you know, I was just tired of waking up every day to do the same exact thing, and then wake up the next day to do the same thing, and then the next day to do the same thing that I've just been doing all week or all year or whatever. And I guess that that's quite normal. I mean, as adults, it's really, really normal. It's not even about the coronavirus period. It's about the fact that as adults, you wake up, you get ready, you go to work, you come back, you eat, you sleep, you wake up and repeat. So um, I feel like when my own got bad is, I mean, I walk about, okay? Like <laughs> everybody knows I cannot keep my ass one place. And um, this whole period is just restricted me a lot. And I love my kids. I love, I don't I want to say I love children, but do I really love children? But anyways, um, I love my kids and, um, but I don't want to stay with them all day long, two for seven. No, I don't want that. Okay. So I feel like it finally just hit me. I'm the kind of person that I love my freedom. I love to hang out with my friends. I love to drink. <laughs> I'm sure some of you might already know now that <laughs> I'm low-key a drunk. Okay. But, um, I love to drink, I love to hang out, I love to have fun, go clubbing, not even necessarily clubbing because I'm not such a clubber, but like go and hang out in bars and stuff and just like have a good time. And last year, you guys know I was pregnant, so I didn't get to do a lot of things I wanted to do. Right after my vacation with my husband, I got pregnant literally the next month and 
yeah my whole year like literally from march to december i was pregnant so this year was supposed to be my year of exploration okay we we're supposed to go on vacation this year this year my husband and i without the kids clearly we we're supposed to do a lot of things this year i was even, i even have another vacation book that I was supposed to go with my mom and mother-in-law which i don't know if that's going to happen now to be honest i planned this year i planned my hangouts to explore more states in nigeria i just had such big plans for the year and then this happened at first i was totally fine you know but eventually i just got tired i just got tired and i just wanted to leave and by leave i mean like i just kind of wanted to leave my routine of a life here and just go like i don't know how to explain this not to sound is it ungrateful or unhappy i don't know like i wasn't particularly very happy okay i just wanted to just go somewhere i just wanted to leave be alone be on my own like do stuff that made me happy and see the fun fact i do this every year so this is not new to me or my husband or anybody my husband knows that sometimes i was even having this discussion with my mother-in-law she didn't she didn't get it kind of like sometimes oh do me see I see a mom coming. Oh God, why am I why am I switching to Ibo? So oh do me see oh god, why, why am I switching Ibo? So basically, sometimes when my head gets filled up, by filled up, I mean exactly what I went through a few weeks back. Um, once my head gets filled up, I have to leave. I just have to go somewhere. I have to go and breathe again. I have to go and breathe fresh air again. I just have to remove myself from the situation of this home or this house and take myself elsewhere where I have less responsibility, little to no responsibility whatsoever, where all I exist to do is have fun and enjoy my life. And believe it, like by three, four days, I'm like, I want to go back to my children. I miss them so much. I want to see Francis. You know, things like that. So, but because of the whole thing going on in the world i couldn't do that i wasn't able to do that sometimes it's as little as going to visit my sisters in abuja or in lagos or just somewhere in fact wherever it is that i'll be alone and just breathe again yeah sometimes i feel like um people might misunderstand me when i try to say these things but i'm sure a lot of people understand for my husband for example it's a bit different because he's not with us actually 247 actually this period which is another thing reason why i think maybe it was hard on me this period he's out for six weeks in it at a go so usually it's usually like two weeks or so now it's more than double that so um he's usually out for a long time and home for a short time so when he's out i call myself now a single mom when he's not around I have a lot of stress on my head and um, I don't know it just got to me at the end of the day it just got to me I hated filming I hated replying comments I didn't want to read comments I didn't want to be on Instagram and see all the rubbish going on on Instagram like I just didn't give an F anymore if you get what I mean like I was just fed up I just wanted to leave everything behind and just go somewhere very peaceful which is exactly what i did clearly i wasn't able to travel but i just deleted my instagram like i didn't delete my account or anything i just deleted the app um clearly it's not realistic to say oh i'm never coming back to instagram we know that's not true so i just deleted instagram app i deleted youtube studios because the whole pressure that youtube was giving me trying to check my numbers oh like um how is this video doing oh my god it's not doing well what's wrong what can i do better oh this video did not do well okay what am i filming next putting pressure on myself trying to put out video three times a week like it is a whole lot you guys and Another thing I have to tell you guys is I'm so sorry from now on if I don't reply all your comments. Trust me, to, to the person I'm replying their comments, it's just one comment that I replied or one comment that I didn't reply. I see people even comment back, oh, you never reply my comments. It's not realistic, okay? It is not realistic to reply every single comment. I know personally I try my best to reply people, but from now on, to be honest, I'm just going to do what I can do, okay? It is just not realistic as we grow to reply every single person. To you, is me replying one person or you and your friend or whatever. But to me, that's extra three hours of screen time that I didn't have to have. That's extra sometimes five hours of screen time that I didn't have to have, okay? Because I have to keep checking, replying comments, checking and replying comments, replying Instagram, trying to reply DMs. And I kind of have OCD where I don't like the number thing showing so sometimes i have to open every single dm i have to find a way to just get over that or just something i don't know what the solution will be but i'm not going to stress myself replying every single comment right now or every single dm you guys should please understand it's not that i don't want to reply but it affected me and i seriously don't want to go back to where i was a few weeks ago it was so bad that 
I'll be on my bed and I'll be crying for no reason. I was just sad. Like, I literally was just sad. I'll be walking down my corridor. I'm just crying. <laughs> I'll get to the kitchen. Go, open the fridge. Carry water. Drink water. I'll be crying while I'm drinking water. <laughs> I'm laughing now. I'm laughing now. Then I'll come back and continue crying. So, point is, I don't know. I just felt so stressed. And I just wanted to leave everything behind and just choose myself first and just try to do things that made me happy which is exactly what i did i left it all behind and i chose me okay i chose me and the thing that makes me the happiest right now is obviously spending time with my family and that is exactly what i did i was fine it's not like i was depressed and on one corner of my bed crying i avoided that i didn't let it get that bad okay so um yeah i was just spending time with my family eating a whole lot of food your girl has gained a lot of weight back but that's okay okay those are things we can control like i would rather be bigger than to be in a bad place mentally okay so i just spent a lot of time with my family my husband was around for most of the time which was good he has actually gone back to work he, had, he went back a week ago a week from the day i'm filming this video so i don't know the day this video will go up but he went back a week from today and um not a week from today he went back a week ago coco i'm filming i'm using my i take take my food and go 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 yeah, so my husband went back a week ago and I've been with the kids. My mother-in-law is still around. Thank you, Jesus. But she's living any day now and I'm actually scared of what my life is going to become when she leaves. But that's right, I'll handle it as it comes. And yes, I'm just doing a lot of happy things. Before my husband left, I did a birthday for him. I didn't vlog that because, I don't know. See, being a vlogger, it's, it can get very, very, like, um consuming okay you just feel the need to vlog a lot of things that happen in your life it's not possible to vlog everything but you feel like almost compelled to vlog a lot of things that happen in your life that is really not necessary like not that it's not necessary but like just there's some things that you just want to enjoy without carrying camera up and down all the time i didn't vlog that i think i i maybe took a video of the food when it got delivered and when i was about to take picture of my husband and the kids i don't know I think I filmed one or two things that day, but to be honest, the whole vlog is not about my husband's birthday. And um, Uche had a birthday as well. A few days ago, I vlogged that one. It was so much fun. We had fun. And I don't know, I've just been having fun in my life, to be honest. The pressure, like the... F See, I've not been on Instagram for over two weeks now, and I don't miss Instagram. Like, I don't miss all the things. Like, I can't even remember why I had the need to go to Instagram all the time. I seriously, I seriously can't remember why right now that I don't have Instagram. Clearly, I have to go back on Instagram. Like, life goes on, but I don't have to more like clearly i'm going to go back again my life is a content I'm, i mean my job i mean is a content creator so i have to kind of create content in different platforms and um yeah but i didn't miss instagram anything that was important any important news still find a way to get to me i don't have to be on instagram to actually know what's happening and yes i've just been having a good time you guys i have actually been having a good time okay yeah you guys look at my fine clip i even forgot i was wearing i think it's a pineapple so cute this adana's hair clip i just washed my hair this evening packed it up and put it by the way this is even like 9 p.m in the night i never film in the night like never ever but it's actually quite peaceful and i feel like i'm going to start filming in the night i'm using a ring light obviously um but i think i'm going to invest in led lights so that i can start filming in the night because i quite like it because clearly like there's always light in the night even if there's no nepal light the gym will be on and the place is always very cool and i don't know it just it just feels good i think i'm going to start filming in the night um yes i have like old vlogs that i started and just lost it and just never finished so um i'm going to round it up and put it out for you guys to see any day from now um this week i'm just planning to have a me day where i go and wax um do my hair get my nails done get pedicure done the whole shenanigan um i've just been so scared to go to the salon but um I, yeah i just have to be careful and I mean life kind of goes on so i just have to be careful and just treat myself well and just buy food i've been buying a lot of food like yesterday i ate a lot of dominoes i spent god knows how much on dominoes yesterday buying for the whole house because to be honest i don't know those are things that make me happy eating spending time with family and i've been doing a whole lot of that um thank you guys so much for all those that checked in on me i just kind of 
wanted to take time out obviously it wasn't going to be forever but just trust me these two weeks was enough for me to actually just um feel better enough for me to get to a better place mentally and just for me to actually th think back at um, what i've been doing how i can do better to improve my mental health or what i should do better or what i should do differently and trust me um i'm just going to do what i can you guys that's what i've told myself i'm kind of i don't want to say i'm a pleaser but i'm almost kind of a pleaser in a sense that it's not like i do it because um people ask me no i just go out of my way always for people like <laughs> a lot and 90 percent of the time actually it backfires fun facts it backfires on me 90 percent of the time like <laughs> that's not what this video is about but point is um i think i'm going to kind of work more on pleasing myself and myself alone first okay clearly trying to please my kids and my family that's like it kind of goes with pleasing myself because those are the things that make me happy but anyways um I'm, i just have to stop being a people pleaser and um yes hit me if you want i mean if one thousand people hate you another hundred thousand probably love you so that's totally fine yeah i just wanted to come out here and update you guys real quick i'm not dead nothing bad happened i just wanted to be by myself with my family and that's it i didn't want to be on youtube and that's it there's no big deal um but hopefully i'll be back to filming real soon because i feel a lot better believe me like for me to even want to film this video this night i was just feeling very happy this night i'm just like you know what let me sit down and have this chat with you guys this night anyways hope you guys are all doing fine and staying safe and i'll catch up with you guys real soon okay thank you guys so much for checking in and for sticking with me all these years you guys have come a long way and i'm very very grateful because as i've been away some of my old videos kind of picked up so it just reminded me of of my journey to where i am right now on youtube and i'm so grateful you guys thank you guys again and i'll see you guys in my next one okay